Hello and welcome to Matt and Maths. My guest presenters are helping me with a bearings question. So we've got here in the diagram AB equals AC, so those are those dashed lines. And we've got to determine the bearing of B from C. So we've got north there, we've got these two dashed lines. What do they mean in this triangle ABC? They're equal. Yeah, they're equal. What type of triangle is that? Isosceles. It's an isosceles triangle. So we've got some information we need to work with there. Okay, we've got to work out the bearing of B from C. So B from C. What do I do there? How do so I solve that? Inner angle of C, so inside the triangle, it's going to be 70 because we know that an isosceles uh, triangle has angles that are the same, two pairs of angles that are the same. So those base angles are equal, 70 and 70, so we know that one there is 70. Great, let's just complete the information that we need there. If that triangle adds up to 180, what's that angle there? 40. 40, and then angles on a straight line, what's this angle outside here? 180 take away 40, which is 140. 180 take away that 40, so that's 140. So we might need that information, always nice to figure it out. Let's move on to the second question of C from B. So we're going the other way now. So C from B, if we left B, what bearing would we go on to get to C? Well, you want to know that missing angle between the north line and that B. So that missing angle there? Yeah, which is going to be 180 take away 140, giving you 40 because of co-interior angles. So we've got the co-interior angles there, or alternate angles there. There's many ways we can work it out. So that's 40, yeah, and then? Um, and then you've got to work out the outside angle by doing 70 plus 40, giving you 110 and then 360, subtract that 110. So that's this angle here. 360, take away that 110, gives me? Uh, 250. Which is the same as 180 plus that 70, because when you turn around, you're going through 180 degrees. So you've gone 70 degrees, you turn around 180, you add that to the 70, it's 250. Brilliant, we've got one more to do. So that's uh, 250, and we can kind of see, although this diagram isn't accurate, it's less than 270. We're in the right quadrant. B from A. So getting to B from A. So starting at A, we've got to get down to B. We might have even worked it out already. It's 140. Okay, so reading clockwise from north, 140 gets us to B. So there we go. That's a bearings question. Thanks to my guest presenters. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And goodbye from all. Bye. Bye. Bye.